So now I want to talk about the fall, the doctrine of the fall, and political realism. Because depending on our view of humanity, we're going to do politics very differently. And one of the reasons why I think that politics is failing in the West, and why politics failed in a communist state, and why politics is fa failed in the Islamic state, is because these political ideologies had the wrong view of humanity. In Genesis chapter 3, verses 1 to 7, it reads this. Now the serpent was more crafty than any beast of the field, which Yahweh God had made. And he said to the women, Indeed, has God said, You shall not eat from any tree of the garden. The woman said to the serpent, From the fruit of the trees of the garden we may eat. But from the fruit of the tree, which is the middle of the garden, God has said, You shall not eat. From it, or touch it, or you will die. The serpent said to the woman, Surely you will not die. For God knows that in the day you eat, from it your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. When the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was a delight to the eyes, and that the tree was desirable to make one wise, she took from it and ate it. And she gave also to her husband with her, and he ate. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they knew that they were naked. And they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves loin coverings. This is the fall of man that is described in the Bible. The failure of man to live as God commands is something that is born in us. Now this story of the fall continues all the way through Genesis as man gets progressively worse and worse and worse until God floods the earth with um, the flood. The point of this fall and the fact that even when Noah and his family start again and it results in the same evil reproducing itself at Babylon and then God scattering the tribes is because human beings are innately sinful. We are innately selfish creatures. And this truth is what undid the Islamic Caliphates. Because the Islamic Caliphates started from the assumption that all human beings were actually born Muslim in submission to Allah, and that if you created a Caliphate, you could make Muslims better a better kind of humanity that would be in submission to Allah. But that failed. It failed and the caliphates failed. It's that truth that undid the Marxist state. Because the Marxists believe that human beings are just blank sheets of paper when they are born and nothing is written on their heart. And that society writes on their heart. So if you create the right script in society, you get the right kind of humanity. It failed. Human beings are naturally selfish creatures. And if that doesn't inform your politics, your politics will fail. Human beings are foibled creatures. We have flaws. We have ideals that we can't live up to aspirations that we can't meet, emotions that we can't control. In fact, emotions that emerge and control us. We break easily. Our psychology is fragile. We are foibled creatures as human beings. We are creations that are transient. We are subject to time and age and change. And thus, we cannot create an environment that remains stable. It always erodes. Life is like a downward moving escalator. All that you have to do to hit the bottom is stand still. Now these premises mean that if they are true, any vision of utopia, whether it be communist or Salafist, will fail 
It is a lie when they promise you paradise on earth. It is a lie when they promise you a world that is going to be perfect. That is the fallacy of every modernist ideology, whether it's ethno-nationalistic, nationalism, liberalism, communism, scientism, Salafism, they all have the same error. A utopian vision that can never be realized because the ones trying to realize it are flawed, are broken. And thus there is no legal system that can change our transience, our subjectivity to change, our selfishness, our pride, our emotions, our inability to reason, our inability to live up to our own standards. No law can achieve this. And thus, the aim of a Christian politics is not to create some kind of perfect man, but simply to mitigate the failure of the human heart, to reduce the ability of the human condition to harm other people. The aim of a Christian politics like that advocated by Edmund Burke is to guide people to the Redeemer, Jesus Christ, who alone, by the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete, can change the human heart. Laws then are to act as shepherds, they are to act as safeguards. They cannot stop sin, but they can limit the impact of sin. The illusion of the Salafists must be opposed, because like every such utopian visionary, they are built upon the lives of millions. They are sacrificed on the lives of millions and they are ultimately based upon the worship of man and not God.